What's up guys, it's boy GT here, back at it again with another video and today we are gonna unbox this entire case full of Hot Wheels cars. So let's not waste any more time, let's go and check out what I got. Alright, so just me, you guys and a case full of loose cars. I gotta give props to the seller man, packed really nicely for these cars. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one which is a Ford, Ford Thunderbolt, man classic series one of the most underrated series of all time yeah i know it's a muscle car but man the paint job on this is really sick in fact a lot of these cars that you guys will see today is from the classics uh, series so uh, just take note of that yeah a lot of the cars from the classic series i don't remember remember exactly what were the cars i got but i remember seeing a lot of a classics car and i got this at a really really good price so check this out this same car this time in this brown color you might think that brown might not look nice for a car but in the spectra frost or sorry, spectra flame it actually looks actually looks pretty dope not bad not bad all right on to the third car is it another ford it's the same oh no this time it's a vet right so oh there's no name gotta love it when hot wheels don't give the car's name but if i'm not mistaken this is a 57 vet please feel free to correct me in this video guys i think i'm gonna make lots of mistakes you know these are one of the older cars back in the past I only started collecting seriously in the 2010s, which is earlier than I think most people anyways. But yeah, so I think some of these cars I might not know. All right, this one is a doozy. It's a Dodge char Charger, right? Dodge Charger RT in green. In green. Very funny looking paint for a, a Charger, but check it out. Opening hood. You can see the hood and the white interior. Man, look at that. Just white interior, white stripes. Man, looking pretty dope. Next up... Is there another charger? I know there's a- ah, ha, ha, ha. Man, the seller really uh, got it for this one, right? Like he really arranged them nicely for me. So this one comes in orange without the white interior this time. Black interior and the black stripes. Same car, check that out. Oh wee, okay. This is Pontiac, right? Pontiac Firebird 400 mainline car with the FTE wheels. I can't say, is this a mystery car or something? I can't remember where this was released from. But wow, love the red windows. This has like red windows on it. That's pretty dope. Check it out. Next one. Camaro, right? 1967 Camaro. It is a uh, violet. Kind of violet uh, paint. Check it out. Plastic wheels and large rear wheels. Metal on metal, of course. And of course, these cars, most of them, they're from the classics line. So they do have a, a good, uh, significant amount of weight on them. Another Camaro. Whoa, in this uh, very slick yellow paint job, look at that. It's like the coat of paint on this one is pretty thick, I would say. Can you guys tell that? I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. Pretty thick. Is this from the Hot... I'm guessing this might be from the Hot Rods series. Can't say for sure. But it looks pretty... Oh, this looks pretty slick. Ooh, alright, what is this? Is this a... Yo! Oh my god, that's so cool. Snake! From the Hot Wheels... You guys see that Hot Wheels Vintage? It's just like vintage there, Snake. There's a snake from the Snake and Mongoose. Oh, that's so dope. Check that out, man. It's Snake. And I wonder if there's a Mongoose in this uh, car. So check it out. The cars are really mint, by the way. So far, like none of the cars I have had any scratches on them or anything. So that's really dope. Oh, I thought I was going to see Mongoose, but no, this is a for the something, right? It's a oh, it's a Merc. Oopsie daisy. Merc. And this is the first time I'm seeing this on a Hot Wheels car. You can see that there's like two-toned. There's like a two-toned interior. For this casting. Ah, hindi ko nakikita yun ah. Never seen that before. It's pretty dope. Check it out. Yeah, so I think it's funny that when sometimes I speak uh, Tagalog in my videos, some of you guys will comment like, Oh, y'all forget I'm not a Filipino. Yeah, for those who are new to the channel, hey, welcome to the Drift 3D channel. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet, you know. I make cars and stuff like that. And yes, uh, I'm a Filipino and I grew up in uh, Singapore. I'm very fortunate to have retained my, you know, native language, Filipino. Although I'm a Singapore citizen already, uh, I hold the pink IC already. So it actually gets out this Merc. I think the axle is a bit loose on this one. Uh, it still rolls, but loose axle. Check this out. All right. Nice pair of Mercs right there. Another one. DJ Khaled. Another one. You know, guys, life is Roblox. <laughs> Life is Roblox, guys. Green one. Oh, this looks pretty pimpish. You know, like a pimp. But I like that. Green is my favorite color. So, I like green. Oh, wee! Another... Oh, I thought it's a Dodge, but... Oh, okay. No, this one doesn't have an opening feature. So, oh, Roadrunner. 440. 
Is that the cubic inch, the size of the engine? 440, right? 440 Roadrunner, red and white. Sella, just in time for Singapore's uh, Independence Day, which is the same birthday as my friend Hector. Hector, one of my viewers, my buddy. Hector is watching this video. Yeah, my friend Hector's uh, birthday is the same day as uh, Singapore's uh, National Day or Independence Day. So yeah, happy advanced birthday to you, Hector. Hey, <laughs> hey. All right, another of the 440. It is gold uh, paint job. Or bronze? Brown? Gold? Not really gold. Copper? I don't know. Pretty dope. All right, we're almost finishing the first side. Yep, there are two sides to the container that I show you guys. Now, wow. I, I don't know what about this car. Gives it like a classic Hot Wheels vibe. But I can tell this might possibly be an old release you know this is the kind of decal that you won't see in today's hot wheels cars i might be wrong for all i know this could have been released last year i just didn't know <laughs> wow this one brings some uh, classic uh hot wheels mainline vibes to it i, I can't describe it you know? <gasps> Yo, oh my god it's so cool all right this is one of the main reasons i bought this set there was like a few, yeah, you'll see later. There's a few four GT40s in this set, and this is amazing, man. Check that out. That's so dope. It's like dark blue. It's like a metallic blue color. That's so beautiful. And there's more, there's more, guys. Let me show you guys other GT40s. All right. Red one. <laughs> Doesn't look good with the black stripes, honestly. It's pretty dope. Oh, there's something there. It's like a gold guitar there. Oh, no. Is it inside the car? Yeah, there's like a gold glitter, but it's inside the car. Well, that sucks, but still. Yo, this is so cool, man. It just needs rubber tires, and this is possibly a super treasure on bed. <laughs> and this is uh, the same color as the other one that we saw. Gold, copper, bronze, whatever. Yeah, this shade of uh, orange looks pretty dope. It reminds me of the Golden Enzo Ferrari from the Ferrari Racer series. That one is fetching high bucks, right? A lot of value. I don't remember how many GT40s there are. Oh, yep, there's another GT40. This one is a mainline. So it's a plastic base. Really can tell the weight difference. This is a plastic base. But mint, regardless. Pretty solid. Oh, that's, I'm so stoked, man. Another one. Oh, Matchbox. Oh, yeah, I forgot, not all of them are Hot Wheels. This one is a Matchbox GT40. I'm not sure from which release. Can't recall this. It's probably from a couple years back. But there's a mainline matchbox. And another one. This is a GT40. I hope so. Yes. More GT40s, yo. GT40 galore today, guys. And oh, I'm surprised. These wheels, the chrome usually turns uh, black for me. But the seller, I guess where he lives, not very humid. He was able to take care of these cars very well. I respect him a lot. I respect him. And oh, 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 all right. Yeah, another GT40. Yo, let's go. The Golf. There's no Golf sponsorships. But you can tell it's definitely based on the Golf. Livery, another matchbox car. Very nice. And this is another GT40 at this point. I don't know. Uh, uh, it is. Magnifique. Excellent. Je, 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 je parle français. Oui. I'm just kidding. Check that out. That's really dope. Love the black wheels. Yeah, it makes the car look more sporty. The black wheels right there. Can you guys guess? Like, is this a GT40? Take a guess, take a guess, take a mental guess. All right. Nope, it's not. All right, you suck. No, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> I suck. Uh, Cadillac Sien. All right, Sien. Sien, all right. And one cool thing about this is um, this is something you probably won't see anymore in Hot Wheels today. Chrome interior, right? On a technically, it's a Cadillac licensed car. It has a chrome interior. I don't think we see that nowadays, which is good, you know? But damn, the nostalgic vibes on seeing chrome paint job on the license car it's a uh, it's a whole different thing take this out uh make space for another room we're gonna flip the car we're gonna flip the box over lads all right i can't remember whether this side has any more goodies more goodies than the other side but let's find out let's put this to the side all right first car for the second side is a Cor uh, corvette with some winter liveries ice blue not sure from which series uh, this is my god, I can't. I, don't, I think I don't realize how. It's not vintage, right? It's only at like 10 ish years back, but these are cars you probably won't see a lot of people owning. Check this out. These are the 66 Nova. Looks pretty clean. Man, if this had real riders, with like the white real riders, it would look pretty dope. Hon Hon Hon. Whoa, it's the. What's this? Chevy Fleet Line? With this goofy looking. Uh, goofy. Oh, <laughs> looking. I never really knew what it was. 
but interesting livery. Seems like he put all the winter related stuff for these cars right here. All the snow stuff. Next one is another Corvette. White one. Whoa, check this out. Really extensive uh, collection right here. You know, personally, don't really collect main lines anymore, but I can I think of a few people that might want this off my hands. Oh, another one. All right, this is like a total inverse, you know, inversely proportional. Boom, white and black, uh, white and blue, blue and black, blue and white. So, yeah, looks uh, of oh, different wheels. This one. Woo, wee. Gold one. Green one and gold one. Interesting, interesting. I think this is a casting that we haven't seen in a long time. I'm not sure if it was a victim of the final run. Who knows? Maybe we'll see it one day. Oh, whoa. Look at this, guys. It's a box. What the heck? What car is this? I, I don't recall what car this is. Oh, is it the RV? <gasps> oh, yeah. The RV. Oh, wow. This is a very interesting one. <laughs> I think we've seen this recently for the Jurassic World premium line, right? So here's what the main line looks like. Oh, despite how big and boxy this is so light. But look at that, you can see like the interior, you know, like the seat there, sofa, a bed, a couch in the back, what's this? Some back seats. Interesting, interesting uh, car. And if I'm not wrong, this other one right here is also another car. Check that out. It's, uh, what is it called? Ah, GMC Motorhome. Here's the red and <laughs> yellow livery. Oh, this looks so goofy. I'm sorry, it just looks so goofy, right? It's not a JDM, it's not a muscle car, it's not a fantasy casting, it's a literal motorhome. I'm sure some of you guys like that. Now, this is some heat right here. This is something you'll never ever see in a Hot Wheels mainline ever again. Motorbike on the back of this Chevy Silverado right here, man. This is so dope. You know, look at this, it's like a freaking motorbike, bro. That's so dope. And if you think that's cool, I think there's another one of these here. Yeah, there you go. The, the seller put them together. It's fine, the red color. Oh, look at the look at the lime green motorbike. That looks insane. Check that out. Goddamn. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this aside. Yeah, because there's one slot in this box where two cars are together. Gotta separate them. V dub fans. Right? V dub fans out there, check this out. This looks pretty dope. V dub. The white interior, metal base and everything. Despite how small it is, it's pretty heavy. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also the beat up in another color. There you go, check that out. Yeah, I somewhat remember some of the cars that are in this set. You know, I think I bought this like one month ago. Obviously, I had to ship this all the way from the USA with the help of a friend and everything. So after one month, I can't remember everything, but I do remember some things. Oh, all right. I think this is the goofy ones. We're not gonna take too much time on this. This is straight pipe. Cool looking hot rod for sure. It's a fantasy casting, but a cool looking hot rod. Definitely will cool look cool in real life. But maybe not as a hot wheels car. Chevy, this is a 50 custom 53 Chevy. The transparent hood. This was like the era where Hot Wheels like to make things wild, right? Look at that. Even cars transparent hoods and long ass pipes. But this looks pretty sick. I swear a lot of Hot Wheels car would actually look pretty sick if they were released in the premium line. You know, it's a thing. Here's the red one. Right here, transparent hood as well. Check that out. Alright, next one. Straight pipes! This time in white. Yeah, I know that a lot of people are gonna skip forward in the video, so I'm not gonna spend too much time. Which is understandable, right? If I was watching my own video, I, I would skip on all the cars that maybe not a lot of people are familiar with. You know, and here's another version of the Corvette that we saw earlier, right? Yeah, no, I mean, the one without the name. It is a very faint violet purple car. Jingwa Dig. It's a Corvette, right? Is it a Corvette? I feel like I keep saying wrong the wrong thing. Ford Coupe. Ford Coupe. Ford Coupe. Yo, love the green on this one. Check that out. There's like a nice little Ford emblem right there. Ah, oh, can't get any me. It can't get any me any more Ford than this. No, I'm kidding. Not actually, can't. But yeah, green and white. Christmas vibes, right there. Next one. This feels like another straight pipe. Yep. Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> straight pipe. Oh, it's a metal base. Yeah, all of them have a metal base. It's an engraved with the blue flames. Check that out. I'm not gonna, gonna waste any time on that. If this is another straight pipe, oh, thank God it's not. <laughs> it's a Corvette. 65 Corvettes, guys. 65 Corvette with a uh, liver. What livery is this? Looks like a skeleton of a fish or something. I, I can't really tell. Wow. I 
Wow. Very uh, unique livery. I think this was like in the 2000s era where a lot of wild decals were on Hot Wheels cars. Now this one is the Plymouth Duster. I think this is a fan favorite for some people. This is very unique. Look at that. There's actually a decal on like the rear wing uh, splitter right there. Crowler. Crowler. Damn. Hot Wheels. Livery on the windows. Nice touch. Alright guys, we're down to the last three cars. We're down to the last three cars, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. What the... Wow. Wait, this is beautiful. From what series is this, La Cial? Oh, well, this is fantastic, man. Just red paint, classic wheel riders. This is perfect. This is not a wheel swap, right? Okay, I gotta check out which series this is from. Yeah. This is so dope. Very beautiful. It's a Chevrolet, right? Or some shit? Oh, it doesn't say in the it doesn't say in the bottom. Bel Air! Sorry, it's a Bel Air. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful Bel Air. Damn. I was stoked. That's beautiful, man. Another one. Alright. Another one. Yeah, you see, it doesn't look as good when you have something like this and then something messy and crazy like this, you know. Yeah, but obviously this is something that would have attracted a, a, a kid like me, you know, with the crazy liveries and all. Yeah, I can see why back then some people who don't collect Hot Wheels don't collect them because there's crazy liveries and stuff. So yes, I'm reaching the last car right here. I just want to say thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing. And oh wow, this one like, see you later, see you later right here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more unboxings. Bye-bye.